Hello and welcome back to another guide for Phoenix Point. My name is Heiken and today we're going to revisit the guide for squat compositions in a concise, crisp and no repetition way. I want to look at uh, the different squat compositions that you can run within Phoenix Point and how you can approach the tactical combat. Phoenix Point at its heart is a tactical RPG, which means all of your units have four action points in this case, and each of these action points can be traded uh, in for either damage, healing, or whatever other support you need on the battlefield. Which means when you're talking about the squad composition, you want to make sure that you can bring all of that to the table. Let's shortly talk about the main roles, and then we can talk about who fulfills these. Role number one would be a frontliner. Those uh, characters either can quickly hide behind walls and therefore can't be shot, or they are having a lot of armor. Typical classes that fill those roles are either berserkers or heavies or a combination thereof. Mid and long range characters or damage characters uh, typically use their specific range to their advantage in order to hit the enemy before they can reach them. They are the bread and butter or bulk of your forces and having multiples of those can help uh, to get down the enemies as fast as possible. And finally there are support characters which I would say either improve the quality and quantity of what others can do or increase their defenses, heal or support in other forms. Mid to long range characters are typically sniper, assaults and uh, any form of uh, mixture of these classes. They are supposed to deal most of the damage, whilst support characters can either be infiltrators for scouting or technicians and um, priests for various buffs, debuffs or uh, crowd controls as well as healing. The reason why I bring up these basics is because I fundamentally believe that if you cover the basis for all of uh, the needs of a squad, every squad combination uh, generally can work well. I'm a true believer of a rather uh, balanced squad instead of a highly specialized or focused squad. So what are the checklist items that you need to think about when approaching building a squad? Number one do you have enough means to deal with armor? Armor is a substantial uh, problem in Phoenix Point. You might want to get uh, berserkers or combinations thereof for armor shredding. You might want to get armor shredding weapons um, from New Jericho in particular. You might want to have a heavy uh, that can deal with grenade launchers and the like. Or you might want to find a way of um, uh, just removing armor altogether with a sniper and weak spot. So if you can deal with armor, one of the main problems of the game will become easier. Checklist item number two. Do you have enough movement? I fundamentally uh, think that Frenzy is a must-have in most of the teams. So a priest uh, with a Frenzy head will absolutely change your experience from slow crawling fights to very fast-paced action, uh, actionized items. Number three. Do you have an option to deal with hit point damage that you will inevitably be suffering? Typically, you either want to have a technician um, or a dedicated healer, or alternatively, you want uh, to uh, have a lot of med kits that each and every one of your characters can use. It's not required to have a technician, but it certainly helps. If you can do that for less action points, it's even becoming better. Skills like inventory management from the assault class further help. I have had good experiences with assaults that had multiple uh, med kits, and then they were simply applying it uh, whilst I didn't have any uh, technician. Fourth, can you deal enough damage? You want to have enough damage dealers to go through. The midfield um, and long range character snipers, in particular at the beginning of uh, the game, uh, but also assaults as uh, the game progresses are incredibly important. Um, additionally to that, you want to know where and when to hit uh, characters. So 
Number five would be, do you have some sort of scouting means? Those could be spider drones and an infiltrator that dedicatedly fills that role, or a heavy that can charge ahead with the jetpack and then just fall back in order to uh, break line of sight. Either way works, but you need to understand where the enemies are located and have a character with a decent perception at least. Now putting these uh, things together, where does it lead us? It leads us fundamentally down a track where you do have a five to eight uh, man team and you want to have at least all of these boxes tick. In a perfect world, uh, say a normal six man squad, you want to have one dedicated support character at least. You want to have one character that can support your team uh, with um, scouting and you want to have as many damage dealers as possible to deal with whatever the enemies are throwing at you. So one combination that you could think of would be a heavy as a scout and frontliner, um, a set of uh, snipers and assaults mainly combined together with berserkers uh, for armor penetration as the midfield units and a priest um, plus a, a technician in the back line for heal and um, a couple of crowd control supports. Could be even the same character. That would be a well-rounded team in my book. And then you can uh, put in one or two additional classes at your heart's content. Now, that is not all when it comes to um, squad management. It's also a question of how do you want to overpower the enemies. So let's shortly talk about that as well. Overpowering the enemies means you are playing to your strength and their weaknesses. And many of the methods within Phoenix Point require you to really focus on a specific playstyle. Whilst individual items are incredibly strong and can be combined with multiple playstyles, I have had great results with focusing on a specific playstyle. A couple of examples that might help you are number one, the ability to stack paralysis effects. The paralysis effects in this game are very strong. As long as you can penetrate armor, uh, you can actually get uh, enemies down very reliable. You don't need to chew through their hit points. You simply need to get them up to their paralysis threshold and then they are out for good. The moment that you hit 50% of paralysis threshold, they drop to two action points. 75 uh, threshold, one action point, and then 100% uh, threshold, they are uh, incapacitated. Second option to deal with the game are fire and fire-based effects. Fire itself is one of the strongest um, abilities um, and damage types uh, that exists. Um, specifically, incendiary grenades uh, create a huge area of fire. For every movement within that uh, fire area, you're finding yourself uh, dealing more and more damage. So if you find a reliable way of removing armor, which is the only way that stops fire, and then deploy multiple incendiary grenades, then you will be very successful against enemies. It even works against Skrillers and other large enemies. Um, and is a hard counter against enemies that rely on vision effects. So having a team that uses liberally, uh, uses incendiary grenades, and grenades in general can be quite helpful. Thirdly, I recommend AOE abilities. There are a couple of AOE abilities that will make your game much simpler. Uh, the most renowned one would be War Scream, I would want to have one character, one heavy at least, in each of uh, the teams in order to uh, use it. A uh, squad that focuses around a solid defense typically will survive and uh, in the long run thrive. Base defense missions, um, haven defense missions and many of the attack missions can easily be won by just enough defense stacking. You will find yourself in a good position if you can use war screams. AOE abilities such as grenades, as well as um, the uh, psionic um, AOE damage abilities. All of that is highly efficient from an action economy standpoint. And if you pair it together with Onslaught and Adrenaline Rush, 
you can wipe out large forces of the enemy at ease. So consider AOE abilities uh, and uh, use them at your heart's content. Final disclosure, although I haven't go been going through a single best squad, I don't believe that that exists. There are certainly a couple of really strong abilities uh, and I go through them in my uh, guide to individual classes. I hope though that the tips and the concept behind uh, building of balanced squads will help you to build your very own balanced squad in the game and run it efficiently. If you liked uh, the content, try uh, to snipe that like button. It's an elusive one, but I believe that you have good aim. And then see you in the next episodes. Bye bye.